Okay, so let's see if you're going to avoid one of the most common errors when it comes to solving linear inequalities or any inequalities at that. So here is our problem. We have negative 2x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 9. So if you know how to solve this, uh, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Also, uh, I'm going to show you the graph to the solution to this problem. So you can't put that into the comment section. But uh, if you know the graph uh, to the solution to this inequality, go ahead and do that as well. So again, here is our inequality. Negative 2x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 9. And again, I'm going to be uh, highlighting a very, very common error that uh, really makes a lot of people, you know, struggle with these inequalities. But uh, it's an easy fix. But uh, let's take a look at our answer. The correct answer here is the following. X is uh, less than or equal to negative 4. And here is the graph to the solution. So here's our number line. We have a negative 4 and then a closed circle and an arrow going to the left. All right, so there is another type of graph uh, here. So if you have an arrow going to the left and you have like a bracket like that, that is perfectly fine. And this would be at negative 4. Okay, so if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face in the A+. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I think I made that common mistake. What's going on? Can you help me out? Well, I definitely can. All right, now before we get into solving our problem here, which of course is negative 2x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 9, let's just do a quick review of some basic inequality concepts. So here is a simple linear inequality. This is x is greater than 9. So uh, let's just do a review real fast of inequality symbols. So you have greater than and then you have less than. So you can kind of remember this because the less than looks like an L that's kind of slanted. So this is greater than, this is greater than or equal to, and this is less than or equal to. But uh, what does it mean to solve a uh, inequality? Okay, so X is greater than nine. So X is just some number. So what number is greater than nine? Well, if you can uh, think of a number that is greater than nine, well, this is a solution to this inequality. So maybe like 10 is greater than 9. Well, 10 indeed is a solution to this uh, particular inequality, but it's not the only solution, right? 20 is uh, greater than 9. 100 is greater than 9. Matter of fact, there is an infinite amount of numbers that are greater than 9. So uh, because of uh, that reason, we like to express the solution to inequalities uh, with graphs as well. So we'll get into that in just one second. But uh, one other thing that you can kind of remember about inequality symbols is that the symbol, whether it's greater than or less than, is going to be kind of always, uh, you kind of think of this as a, like a little alligator. I always kind of love to teach this here because it's so fun and I'm, <laughs> I'm not the greatest artist. But here's our little al alligator. And your alligator is always going to be kind of trying to eat the larger value. So here this, for example, would be a 12. And this might be a 5. Matter of fact, let's uh, kind of do a comparison of two values. So here is 5 and 12. What inequality uh, symbol should we uh, use here? Well, again, the alligator always wants to eat the larger value. So here you want to use the less than symbol. Okay, so again, just a quick review of some basic inequality concepts and symbols. So remember, the solution to an inequality is not going to be one single number like an equation. So if you have like 2x is equal to 10, of course, the solution to this equation is x is equal to 5. There's one value. So in uh, an inequality, we have an infinite number of solutions. So we need to understand how to graph those solutions. OK, so here is the problem that I'm going to be solving in just one second. But uh, there is another type of inequality, and that is called a compound inequality. Now, I'm not going to be talking about uh, this uh, in this particular video, but these type of these types of pro uh, problems are problems you need to know how to solve. Now, just a simple example of a compound inequality would be this. So, if I have three is less than x is less than ten, what what would be an example of a solution to this uh, compound inequality? So, we have two conditions here. So, in other words, this number x has to be greater than three, but at the same time it has to be less than 10. So if you're like, hey, Mr. 2 Math Man, how about 7? 
seven is uh, in between uh, three and ten. Well, that is uh, the right idea. But uh, even here, the numbers between three and ten, there's an infinite amount because 7.1, 7001 is also a solution. So you need to understand the graphs to inequalities. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into uh, solving this particular inequality. So the way you uh, solve an inequality, a linear inequality or a compound inequality, is you kind of do it like solving an equation. So if, for example, we had an equal sign here, what would be the steps you would take to solve for x? Well, we're going to be basically taking those same steps, but there is a twist here, a common error, and I'll get to that in just one second. All right, so let's go ahead and solve for x. But again, you're not solving for x because this is not an equation, but effectively, we're going to be taking the same steps. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is subtract 1 from both sides of an equation, or both sides of the inequality, excuse me. And uh, just one thing here, uh, if you are trying to learn how to solve linear inequalities or compound inequalities, you have to first understand how to solve equations, all right? particularly linear equations. Okay, so negative 2x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 9. The first thing that we need to do is subtract 1 from both sides of this uh, inequality, then add down in a column manner. Okay, so we end, uh, we end up with negative 2x plus nothing. That's negative 2x. 1 minus 1 is 0, so that goes away. And then 9 minus 1 is 8. All right, so now we're down to negative 2x is greater than 8, or greater than or equal to 8, excuse me. Okay, so at this point, what do we need to do to solve this inequality? Well, again, if this was an equation, uh, the next step that we have to take is to do, uh, divide both sides of the inequality, or you know, conceptually, if you're thinking of uh, an equation symbol here, we need to divide both sides of the inequality by negative 2. Okay, so get ready because I'm going to show you this very common error. Okay, so if you understand everything up to this point, you're like, yes, Mr. U2 Math Man, I did all this, but uh, I got the wrong answer. What's going on here? Well, you likely did this mistake. Okay, so anytime you are solving an inequality and you divide both uh, sides of the inequality by a negative number or you multiply both sides of the inequality by a negative uh, value, you need to flip the inequality symbol. Okay, a lot of students forget to do this, so this is a greater than or equal to. So by dividing uh, both sides of the inequality by negative 2, this is going to go from greater than or equal to uh, to less than or equal to. All right, so we have 8 divided by negative 2, that is negative 4. So x is less than or greater or less than or equal to negative 4. This is the solution to the inequality. I'm going I'm to show you how to graph this in just one second. Now, before we continue on, make sure to hit that subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every single one of my courses, I give you a full comprehensive detailed lesson on every single topic. Also, I cover thousands of problems with full video solutions. I have a ton of worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for test, and even printable and downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great, clear, and understandable way to learn math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. So now we have the solution to our problem. So that is x is less than or equal to negative 4. Now this solution is perfectly fine in terms of solving an inequality, but uh, more often than not, your teacher or you just kind of need to understand how to construct uh, the graph to an inequality, right? So for those of you that are studying, let's say like algebra, uh, your teacher is going to be saying, hey, that's fine that you can solve this inequality, but show me the graph. Now, why do we uh, want a graph to an inequality? Well, again, there is an infinite amount of solutions to any inequality. So x is less than or uh, less than or equal to negative 4. So what does that mean? Well, it means that there's an infinite amount of numbers that are less than or equal to negative 4. So it's just easier to see this using a graph. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, this is not that difficult. 
So the first thing that you want to do is just draw out or sketch out a real number line. So something as simple as this, and I like to kind of put in a zero as a reference point. Okay, so here is zero. So uh, to the right of zero is our positive value. So numbers increase in this direction. Uh, and of course they are positive. And to the left of zero, we are going in the negative direction and numbers are decreasing. So the uh, way you graph an inequality is you always go to the number right here. Okay, so whatever number you have, whether this is less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So just plot that number on your number line. Okay, so here is negative four. Matter of fact, I kind of do this this way. So here's our negative four, and I like to just draw an open circle. Now, some of you uh, were taught how to uh, graph inequalities with circles or these type of symbols, brackets or a parenthesis. Okay, so I'll talk about these symbols here in just one second, but I think it's probably uh, more common uh, uh, that uh, students use the, the circle notation. Okay, so you just uh, plot an open circle at this number, so that's negative four. And then you have to ask yourself, where are the numbers that are less than negative four? So uh, to really uh, help you not make a mistake, just pick uh, some, uh, you know, basically test value, right? So maybe over here is a positive five. So five, is five less than or equal to negative four? Well, no, five is not less than negative four, okay? How about negative uh, 10? Is negative 10 less than negative four? Now, it is a little bit confusing here in terms of negative values. At least uh, some students find it confusing. But the five is definitely not uh, less than negative four. So in this direction, this is false, okay, in terms of the solutions here. So the direction of the numbers that are less than or equal to negative four is to the left, all right? These numbers here are less than negative four, okay? Now, we have to deal with this uh, equal to in just one second, but uh, again, it's really easy to make uh, a mistake in terms of where your arrow is going. So from your circle, what you're going to do is just draw an arrow in the direction of all the numbers that are less than negative four. Of course, that is going to the left. Now, because uh, this uh, inequality symbol is less than or equal to, the equal to means that any number that is equal to negative four, now what number is equal to negative four? Well, of course, that's negative four. So uh, when you have an equal to symbol, you're going to close in that circle, all right? So basically, you're gonna fill it in, and that means that that number, negative four, is also a solution to the inequality. Okay, so that is basically it. Now, let me go ahead and talk about these other symbols here. So instead of an open circle or a closed circle, uh, some of you out there were taught if you want a closed circle, you would use a bracket so your graph would uh, look like this. Now, if we just had less than or greater than, uh, that would be an open circle. Okay, for example, if our uh, problem was x is less than negative 4, we would just have an open circle here at negative 4. And the same uh, graph using this other notation would be a little parenthesis like so. Okay, so this is how you graph the solution to an inequality. But uh, again, this is a pretty simple problem and you need to keep these things in mind, particularly this error, right, which is of course uh, dividing both sides of an inequality by a negative value or multiplying both sides of, of an inequality by a negative value. All right, a lot of people forget this and then of course they end up getting problems uh, incorrect and then they're like very sad and they're like mr youtube math man what's going on i'm so good in algebra but uh, i keep making this little mistake well the key to being successful in math is you got to focus right so really concentrate and try not to be distracted when you are doing mathematics okay so i hope this video helped you out and if that's the case don't forget to like and subscribe now if you need additional help in algebra check out these courses right here so pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.